magandang buhay Core 0060 students Since katatapos lang ni Ma'am Tintin Ang module 9 Okay, let's have module 10 And it's all about Calculating the confidence interval estimates For mean When standard deviation Is known For this particular topic Mga anak, okay We're going to use two formulas Okay, we have the formula in finding the point Estimate and of course, the formula in finding the point estimation of the mean. Okay? We have point estimate. Sample mean is equal to summation of mean all over sample size. Okay? Take note that when we say, I when we have this symbol summation, okay? The operation being involved is addition. addition. And of course, the formula in finding our point estimation, okay? L1 and L2 stands for interval is equal to sample mean minus critical value times standard deviation all over square root of sample size, okay? Comma, this is sample mean plus critical value or Z sub A all over 2 times standard deviation divided by sample size. Kung titignan nyo mga anak, ang ating interval, okay, or point estimation, parang mahabang formula, pero pinalitan lang po niya ang operation. Dito po sa unang part is subtraction, at ang ating pangalawa ay addition. addition. So, let's have our following examples. Tuloy-tuloy tayo. Example number one, point estimation of the mean. The following are the random sample temperatures in degrees Celsius of 10 COVID-19 patients under investigation at Hospital A. So we have the table, okay? Ito po ang mga temperature ng ating COVID-19 patients. We have 36.5, 38, 37.8, 39, 38, 37, 38.6, 40, 36, 41.4. Ay, di siguro mga pasyente mga pag <laughs> Convulsion <laughs> Oo, sobrang init na itong 41.4 Anyway guys, okay Because the problem is under point estimation of the mean We're going to use the formula what? Okay X with a bar X with a bar or sample mean is equal to Summation of mean all over sample size Yes Okay So this is equal to Unin muna po natin ang ating X Or at, at our Mean, okay, ito po yung ating mga mean Okay, since summation, sabi ko nga kanina plus So this is 36.5, sorry na Plus 38, nilalakyan ko para makita ng mga anak natin 37.8 plus 39 plus 38 plus 37 plus 38.6 plus 40 plus 36 Plus 41.4 Divided by N Bilangin natin ma'am kung ilan ang ating sample size 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 So this is divided by 10, 10. Okay, maliwanag ma'am Yes Using our scientific calculator We have 36.5 plus 38 Plus 37.8 Plus 39 Plus 38 Plus 37 Plus 38.6 Plus 40 Plus 36 Plus 41.4 Is equal to 382.3 Divided by 10. 10 Okay, so let's divide this by 10 Okay, so we have now 38.23 38.23 30. now is our point estimation Point estimate or what we called as point estimation of the mean. Do you have any problem, ma'am? None. Okay. Let's proceed to our example number two. Determining confidence interval estimate when standard deviation is known. For this particular problem, mga anak, kapag ang kinukuha natin is the point interval estimation, okay, we're going to use this table. Okay, this table ay ang ating tinatawag na commonly used degrees of confidence. We have three. We have 90%, we have 95%, and we have 99% degree of confidence. 
We have alpha here. The alpha of 90% is obviously 0 0.10. The alpha of 95% is obviously 0 0.05. And the alpha of 99% is obviously 0, 0 0.01. Okay? And the critical value of our 90% degree of confidence is 1.6 per 5. While the critical value of 95% degrees of confidence is 1.96 and the critical value of 99% is 2.575. You know what, Ma'am Tintin? Our students in course 006 must memorize this table by heart. Yes. Kasi sa mga susunod pang topic, ay gamit na gamit natin. Yan. Gamit na gamit natin. Kaya nga commonly natin. used. That's why it's commonly used yeah. degrees of confidence. Okay, let's have now this one. Let's determine the confidence interval estimate when standard deviation is known. We have the given standard deviation is equal to 6. N or ang tinatawag natin sample size is equal to 100. And our sample mean is equal to 25. Okay, uh, the formula in finding our point interval estimation is interval is equal to x with the bar. Minus J sub A all over 2 or critical value times standard deviation all over square root of N. N. Okay, sabi ko nga kanina, pareho lang. Subtract dito, ang pangalawa po ay magiging addition. Okay, same procedure. Times standard deviation all over square root of N. Nakakasunod mong tintin? Yes. Okay, let's now substitute. Interval now is equal to X with the bar is equal to 25. We have minus critical value. Sabi niya dito ma'am, find a 90% confidence interval for a population mean. Okay? And the critical value of 90% is what? 1.645. Yes, it's 1.645. So nang galing na po ito sa table natin, times standard deviation, the given standard deviation is 6, all over square root of n, but our n is 100. Again, pareho lang process, magiging plus lang yung minus. This is 25 plus 1.645 times 6 all over square root of 100. Okay? We have now, bilisan na natin ito ma'am. 25, itutok muna yan. Minus 1.645 times 6 all over square root of 100. Close parenthesis is equal to, this is 24.013. Okay? Yung isa naman, papalitan lang natin ng plus yung minus. Isn't it? Yes. So, gagawin natin plus. Tama na yan. Equal to 25.987. Okay? And, of course, to interpret this interval estimation, we can say now that to interpret our result, we can say now that we are 90, we are 90%, dahil 90 nga, 90% confidence, confident, confident, sorry, confident that our mean, the population mean, Population mean will be between 24.013 and 25.87. And Again, this is our interpretation. We are 90% confident that the population mean will be between 24.013 and 25.987. Para para isulat ito, ma'am, this, this can be written this way. 24.013. Okay. We have less than mean less than 25.987 Okay Answer Interpretation Interpretation Any question ma'am? None so far Okay, let's proceed to our last and final example Okay, this is example number 3 
measurements are made on a random sample of 100 respondents drawn from a population size of 1,546 and having a standard deviation of 2.93 mm. The mean measurement of the components in the sample is 67.45 mm. The question is, let's determine a 95% confidence interval for an estimate of the mean of the population. Okay, if the given is in problem, of course, we need to analyze it. Okay, so let's first get the given. Yes. Okay, ang important thing given dyan should be, are you following? I should say, standard, standard deviation. deviation. Okay, we have sample N or size. sample size and our sample mean. sample mean. Take note mga anak, that standard deviation, obviously, it is already given. Sabi niya dito sa problem, standard deviation of 2.93. So, our standard deviation is 2.93 mm. Isn't it? This is N. This is sample size. Take note, mga anak, na that in determining sample size in any problem, lagyan katabi ng word na random. Okay? Kapag meron kang nakitang random sample, ibig sabihin yan ang ating sample size. So, in our problem, this is the random sample. Sabi niya dito, 100. So, our N is equal to 100. While our x with the bar on ating sample mean is what? 67. The mean of measurement of the components in the sample is 67.45. Siyempre, may mm yun. Dapat meron ding mm. Okay? So, wag po tayong maano sa 1546 kasi number of respondents po ito. Tama? Tama, ma'am? Yes. So, wag tayong makonfuse dyan. And, we sabi po niya sa problem... Our 95% confidence or critical value of 95% confidence, dito po, is what? Okay, let's consult our table again. The critical value of 95% is 1.96. Isulat na natin dito mga anak. And we are now ready to solve. Substitute. Okay, L1. L2 or interval is equal to X with the bar is 67.45 minus critical value is 1.96 times standard deviation is 2.93 all over square root of 100. Pareho lang po sila. Ang naiba lang ay magiging plus 67.45 plus 1.96 times 2.93 all over square root of 100. Okay? We have now the calculator 67.45 Nakikita ba, Ma'am Tintin? Yes. Minus 1.96 times 2.93 all over square root of 100. 100. This is equal to 66.88 So, dec two decimal two digits right after the decimal point. So, naging 88 siya. Okay, sabi ko nga, arrow left, mean, arrow left. Okay? And gagawin lang natin plus yung minus. Gagawin lang natin plus yung minus equals, this is 68.02. So, to interpret this one, ma'am, we can say that, Therefore, therefore we are, so, lagyan natin, therefore ito mama, therefore, uh -oh. yes. we are 95, dahil 95 po ito, percent confident, confident that the mean, the population mean, the population mean will be, will be copy between 66.88 and 68.02. This is the answer. And this is the interpretation. Okay? For any question with regards to this topic, mga anak, nandito lang kami ni Pamtintin. Hashtag matibay tayo. Goodbye.